Wilshire brands just split off of Sara Lee in an attempt to become more focused. So let's talk about that with the CEO, Sean Conley. If you're becoming more focused, how are you going to achieve growth? By becoming more focused. Uh, the key for our company is we are $4 billion. There are six brands that we're counting on to drive the bulk of our growth. We think about those six brands 24-7. We're not distracted by all these other competing priorities. We know exactly what's working. We know exactly what we've got to fix. And that's what we are focused on from me to the new summer intern coming in the door. But with that focus on those brands, I mean, how can you drag more growth out of just a small amount of name? Well, we have a simple growth model. It's all about growing the core, so making sure we have a strong foundation in our core and then extending our trademarks into adjacencies where, similar to what we've done with Jimmy Dean over the years, changing it from a roll sausage business to a breakfast sandwich business. And then the third piece that we've demonstrated in the last year are, are smaller fold-in, fill-in acquisitions like Adele's, which is a gourmet sausage business that gave us access to the upstream part of the market. You recently laid off um, and started cutting back. How, again, you know, how can you roll out all these new brands with fewer people? Well, we had more people because we were a much bigger company. And we knew about a year and a half ago when we began the work for the split that we needed to right size the company so we could be fast and agile. And we went through a lot of work to discern between what we needed to have versus what would be nice to have. And what we've got today is an organization that's been right sized for speed, for agility, and for innovation. Are you concerned, though, that with the consumers that they're wanting more healthy foods and that they're concerned about taking on some of these meat items? Well, the way we think about that is we segment the marketplace so we understand which consumers are concerned with wellness and, and uh, better for you products, and we innovate products for them. There are other consumers that are focused with, for different things. Some focus on indulgence, some focus on taste variety. We need to have a clear understanding of the market segments and then innovate for each of those market segments, including wellness and better for you. How hard is it to deal with raw costs? Because I know that's one of the uh, biggest problems you have. Well, obviously the market moves around a lot. We have a very clear understanding of where our price points need to be, where our gaps versus competition needs to be. We need to do a better job of monitoring what's happening in the commodity marketplace and then translating it to very agile pricing in the marketplace. And that's something we've put a new team in place to focus on. And we feel like we're making tremendous traction in that regard. So what is going to be the one thing that you're most focused on in the next six months? The next six months is really focused on getting the innovation pipeline rebuilt. We brought in a new chief innovation officer, Sally Grimes, who joins us next week. We've got a new fully dedicated innovation team in place. We have terrific brand equities who have tr which have tremendous legs. We have a wealth of ideas. Our job is to now really sort through which of those ideas are the biggest and best and get them into the marketplace as fast as possible. Which is your favorite product? Well, my favorite product is Hillshire Farm Smoked Sausage. It is kind of our flagship product from the old days. It is still relevant today and still beloved by consumers, and uh, I'm going to throw some on the grill when I get home tonight. Are you sure it isn't that Jimmy Dean sausage biscuit? Well, I love that too, <laughs> but I kind of view them all as my children. I love them all. So I, 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 this weekend, we've got 150 million hot dogs being consumed in the U.S., so I probably would say that Ballpark is probably going to be the hero product this weekend. All right. As he mentioned, Ballpark is the number one selling hot dog brand out there, and that's CEO Sean Connolly. This market is a stock players. tickers market. Stocks have rallied this year. We're coming into a Monday where we're getting...